Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be talking about the teachable coaching feature. So if you have anyone you want to coach, provide some value to them, maybe it's a one-on-one -on -one session, however you want to do that, I'm going to show you how to walk through very quickly and set this up. If you would like to follow along or simply test out Teachable, I will leave my link down below. And if you click that, you can get free access to it. Or if you're already a Teachable user, you can just use that for easier login access. So where we are on the left side, as you're going to see right here, we have our coaching right here, click on that. And if you don't have a coaching session yet, it's gonna look something like this. Let's click on create coaching. So for this, I'm gonna give it a name. We have marketing island coaching and next. Okay, so set up how you will receive clients. Because coaching sessions are live, you'll need to decide the intake process for customers interested in this service. So we have no intake form. New clients go directly to checkout to be enrolled in the coaching service. If you want to remove a step, it's probably going to be the best way in order to maximize the amount of calls and sales that you get. Next in the middle is going to be the intake form. It says new clients will fill out an intake form and then go to checkout to be enrolled in your coaching service. So this is good to get maybe some value out of this in terms of what they want, where they are, you know, get an idea of where they are, say, with their online business, if this is for online business coaching, right? And of course, last but not least is going to be the intake form with approval. New clients will first complete an intake form and wait for your approval before they can proceed to checkout. Now, this is going to be very, very specific. For example, there was a time I remember when I did coaching, I talked to probably 100 people on a call to see if like, you know, they're going to be a good fit. And I'd say about only 10% of them, I only even gave a pitch to because 90% of them weren't that great of a fit. If I had done it better, what I would have done is put some type of intake form with approval where those 90% of individuals I just wouldn't have gotten on a call with because they weren't going to be a fit. So this is if you want to be really strict. And many times that can be the best thing possible because you'll only get the best of the best clients that you were looking for. When you start taking everyone, then you really got to start changing things around. It's not going to go as well as you thought. Maybe you're going to get that pain in the neck client. That's really going to be up to you. But these are the various forms. I'm just going to go to the intake form right here so I can show you how to edit it on the sales page if needed. Let's click on next. Okay, so we have free one-time purchase, payment plan, subscription. I imagine that you value your time and it's very important. So chances are you might not be doing free unless you want to do it every now and then, maybe for a charity donation, something along the lines of that, right? Actually, if, if it's going to be a free, it's probably no donation. But anyways, let's do a one-time purchase to show you how to set that up. So here's going to be our amount. All right, so just put price nine ninety seven for Marketing Island Coaching, and I said, let's grow your online business. I will walk you through seven of the best micro tasks that you can use to grow your online business. Get ready to take action and see results. You know, I think I should do a video about that sometime. Uh, there are so many little details when it comes to online business that you can use that don't take too long to implement, but can have a really big effect on your revenue, traffic, sales overall. Some are going to be a little bit bigger, some, most of them much smaller, but I think I'll create a video about that one time because I, I know a bunch of those off the top of my head. But anyway, uh, limit enrollment by cap or expiration date and time if you want to do that. Okay. Maybe you just, you don't want to take on so many coaching clients. Your time is so valuable. So that can be an option. And of course, limited product access duration. Under this plan, students will receive access to the product for a specified amount of time, after which they will lose access to all content. I probably wouldn't do that, especially for the fact that the first milestone is going to be sending them to, like, say, a calendarly calendar. So I'm going to keep that off. Let's click next. All right, so here we can set a start date. This is where we can use our first milestone. And something I want to bring up in case you get confused in the future is that milestones can be edited on a client basis. So they're going to be done individually. Personally, I would like it if you could add a little bit more flexibility where everyone's going to have a similar milestone where you do something, say, a week later. But that's just the way it works. But on this, I like on the enrollment date. So once they apply, they get to, say, go to uh, on the inside and select a date when they want to talk to you. I think that's going to be good, especially for a one-off call. That'll be perfect. Let's click on next. Okay, so customize your first milestone. This is often to welcome them and prepare them for the coaching session. Welcome. And you know, you can add anything you want here. You can also utilize a uh, video right here if you want, if you want to embed it, if you want to add a link. And then of course, what I'm going to say is just, you know, schedule a call so we can talk as soon as possible. All right, thank you so much for scheduling a coaching call with me. And please use the calendar to schedule your session. Okay, so let's do booking. So we don't use that word twice. So what we want to do here, if you have Calendly or some of the other available options, so you can use calendar right here, or you can set a meeting time. I'm going to use this. And of course, we have our calendar link, which is optional. I'm going to go ahead. It says we integrate natively with Calendly, but you can use any link. So I'm going to grab the link for that. Perfect. And next. All right. So it has been created. Let's click on continue. 
Again, this is going to be the basics, just some obviously an image guide here. Uh, probably want to use something, maybe a picture of you, you know, two people talking, whatever it's going to be. We have our author, uh, author details. You can edit this in the school's bios page. We have some advanced settings. So if you have an API key when you, for supporting Calendly product visibility, you can have it on all product pages if you want. And of course, if you want to delete it, pretty basic stuff. Obviously, that's going to be up to you and what you have to offer. So you can go through that. But let's click on publish. And just like that, those are going to be the basic steps for actually setting up the coaching itself, which I want to show you right here. So here's going to be the inside. So say I just signed up. So, hey, James, let's make some progress today. We have our first milestone. We can click on welcome. Thank you so much for uh, booking a coaching call with me. And please use the calendar to schedule your session. So we can click on here and, of course, select the day, select the time, whatever it's going to be. And that's how you can actually get them to go in there and then just immediately book a session. Now, we did talk about if you were going to be using a form where you want people to enter in some information. What we can do is go to pages right here. And what I want to do is go to the sales page right here and click on edit. So the sales page is going to be business as usual when it comes to their editor changing things around. But what I do want to show you is if you scroll down a little bit more, you're going to see that your intake form is going to be right here under intake form. So if you click on this, you can change this around. So we have without approval or with approval. That's going to be up to you. It talks about that there. I briefly went over that before, depending on how strict you want to be in terms of who you accept for coaching. So before your session is going to be right there, we have our description text, which is going to be there. So email address is naturally there. Then we have our CTA text down below for submit, or we can do say, click here to continue, something like that. First thing is going to be name, and we have short text. And of course, use what do you hope to get from our coaching sessions, okay? Or we could do something different, like how far along with you in your online business? What are you struggling with the most? What do you need help with most specifically? Things like that so you'll know what to talk about on your coaching call. In fact, I'd probably get a little bit deeper where you can type a little bit more. Heck, you could probably just take out the name aspect right here. Let's do long text and do what do you need help with the most okay and something like that and of course question two you can do name you know if you want but that's just obviously something else sometimes they have their name and their email address i'm just giving you some more ideas about what you can put in there in order to get the most out of it so that's going to be how you can actually go in there and change around this intake form so if you wanted to use that and of course like i said the rest of this is going to be business as usual when it comes to your coaching name the banner and so on and so forth but that's a pretty quick guide when it comes to setting up the coaching aside from all the aesthetic stuff of course if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment down below and of course if you want to test out Teachable, I will leave that link in the description where you can test them out for free. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.